<sighs> Good morning, my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is December the 16th. The time is now 11.03 a.m. It is a windy Sunday morning, bright and early, and of course, I am so happy to still be alive. But moving forward, today we're going to be talking about a couple easy tips on how to open that third eye and why it is imperative that we need to be conscious of our third eye and the power from within. So easy tip number one, in my opinion, on how to open up that third eye is to be, first of all, your surroundings have to be extremely peaceful. So whether you meditate in your house by yourself, whether you meditate outside in the park by yourself, it has to be an environment where you are at peace and you are at one with the universe. That is very imperative. Easy tip number two on how to open up that third eye is be aware that you do have a third eye. Be conscious of that and understand that that's going to open up your eyes to a completely different level of life. And it's so crazy because this will take you to a completely different level that I'm I'm telling you guys, it can be a little bit scary, but it's also challenging and it's also mindful. It's something that we need to be aware of. Easy tip number three on how to open up that third eye is, of course, you can actually get tips from a person who actually has opened up their third eye. People have different, you know, ways of meditating. And I'm telling you, when you are, you know, when you are in that state of mind, it, it just, it elevates you, man. It just, it's so crazy. But let me tell you something, guys. When I realized that my third eye was opened up, when I started to look at life on real life terms, instead of the fantasy world that I was living in for so long, you know, I was living in my head and I was living one day at a time. I wasn't so much focused on the things that happened in the past or even the near future. This was before I opened up my third eye. But then I started to realize that, you know, life is, is so much, it's, it's a little bit different than what I thought it was, you know, but it's, life is real, life is real, and the possibilities of us, you know, obtaining everything that we ever wanted in life is extremely possible, and there's no one or nothing that can stop us but us and our disbelief. That's the only thing that can actually stop us from obtaining whatever the goal is that we would like to obtain. I'm telling you guys, when you open up your third eye, you will start to look at life like, you know what? This world belongs to me. And God has me here to help motivate people. I mean, it'll, it'll show you what's possible for your life, man. And I'm telling you guys, opening up your third eye is so imperative. You want to be in a very peaceful environment. You want to sit still. And just let everything in your mind just flow. Don't force anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't reject anything. Hold on one second. Come on. Let's go. Go to the back. Go to the back. I'm sorry. Okay, so don't force anything. Don't reject anything. I mean, you just you just want to allow yourself to just be. And just live in that moment and just be free and just, just be there, you know? And, I mean, once you open up your third eye, there is no going back. There is no going back to, you know, um, acting like you don't see things or acting like, you know, you don't, um, you don't understand stuff or, you know, it's just you're conscious now. You're awake. Like, this is life. You understand? And I don't know, like, I just kind of had a moment last night and I felt like I needed to wake up today and definitely vlog about, you know, opening up that third eye because a lot of people are walking around in this world in their sleep. They're, they're not awake. They don't understand how life is, how life works. All they, what, what they have done is they've programmed themselves to wake up every day and they have a, a certain routine that they stick to. And I get it because, you know, facing real life, 
is not always easy. And at the end of the day, sometimes there are going to be things that's going to happen that's going to throw you off guard, you know. And at the end of the day, it's time. That was extremely loud. But it's time that we start to wake up and realize how real life is. And when you when 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 you open up that third eye, you start you start to look at yourself from like a different point of view. You start to look at life from a different point of view and you start to just say, "Okay, yeah, I see." Like everything starts mental. Everything starts in the mind. And that's how powerful, you know, this this forces that we have within ourselves. And I mean, sometimes it just amazes me. And last night I had one of those moments, you know, I had one of those moments where my third eye was opened up and I was like, wow, you know, and I'm going to talk about certain things that happened, you know, in my life later on in, in other videos and stuff. But it is so crazy how certain things have happened. It really is. And. You know what? I feel like God would not put us through something that we couldn't handle. I also feel like we need to start to trust ourselves more and stop second guessing the choices that we make. We need to start believing in ourselves and and understand that, you know, there is a higher power that would not steer us in the wrong direction. And I think a lot of times people just second guess themselves. They underestimate themselves. And that's why, I, you know, I'm here to motivate us because I understand how hard life can be sometimes. I get it. You know, I get it to the max. But guys, like you, you, you need to know, like opening up your third eye, that's a must, man. You, you can't live in that fantasy world forever. You can't live in your head forever. At some point in time, you're going to have to face reality of what your life is turning out to be or what you want it to be or what it has turned out to be. And you want to change it to something even better. A lot of times we get lost we get lost in this world and it's easy to get lost because you're surrounded by the wrong people. You at jobs that you hate. You understand you, you live in places that you're not happy at. And it, it's so easy to just get lost. And I'm telling you guys, if you are lost in your mind and in this dimension, in this lifetime, you have to find yourself. You have to find yourself. And I can't stress that enough guys. You got to find yourself and finding yourself is, is living that positive life. You know what I'm saying? Being true to yourself, being good to people, being good to yourself. Most of all, you come first, you know, um, if it's certain things in your life that you may not be too crazy about, that's okay. But now that you acknowledge that you have this problem, you have to fix the problem. And I've noticed something else. Since I've opened my third eye, and I'm going to talk about this in another vlog, but I'm going to just briefly discuss it. I've been seeing triple numbers, quadruple numbers. Like, I just looked at the clock just now, and I seen one, 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 one. Let me tell you something. This is easy tip number four, because I think we up to easy tip number four on, um, you know, tips on how to open a third eye or how to know when your third eye has been opened. Your intuition is phenomenal. I can't, you know, it's, you just on a whole completely different level of being. That's how serious this is. And I've noticed since I've opened up my third eye that I've been seeing triple numbers I've been seeing quadruple numbers like I'll see one 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 like I just told you guys or I'll see three 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 or four 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 and the meaning behind all of those numbers it means something else it means that there are angels right that are trying to send a message to you they're speaking to you or it could be someone that has passed away you know, like I said, that's still looking out for you. My mom passed away. My brother passed away. Those I'll discuss about in other vlogs. But ever since they have been gone, I'm telling you guys, I've been seeing these these triple numbers, quadruple numbers. Um, and 
every time I see the numbers, I pick up my phone, I go to 333-444, whatever the number might have been, because there's a message behind it that's being relayed to me at that point in time. And I feel like my life has changed so much. I feel like my life has changed so much because I'm awake now and I see things for what they truly are. Not what I necessarily want them to be. If I want to fix certain things, I can. But I see things for what they truly are right right in front of my eye. And it's so crazy because I can even see things happening sometimes before it happens. Because I know how life is. And I understand, you know, the game of life. And it's it's... It's so crazy, yo. It's, I, you know what? I get it when people don't want to open their third eye. I get it because it's scary. And it's like, wow, this is where I am at, you know, at my life at this point in time, at 30 years young. This is what is going on with me, you know? But you got to look beyond your situation, for what it could possibly be if you continue to be mindful, be conscious, be fully awake, and keep moving forward. Because that's all you could do. You can't go backwards. And even if you could, why would you want to? Everything that has happened to us in our lifetime, good and bad, has taught us a valuable lesson. It's time for people to start waking up and understanding that we have a third eye and it's time for us to use that power. It's time for us to be smarter, be better than we've ever been. And yeah, things are going to happen to us. Things have happened to us. But you know what? It hasn't stopped us. We're actually stronger than we're ever, we, we ever been, you know? We're more conscious of things that's going on than people who are obviously still asleep. They're not awake. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. I want you guys to continue to follow me. Like I said before, I'm going to have videos that I'm shooting every day. It only gets better. And you know what? For the people that's following me, you guys are going to wake up to reality because that's what I'm here for. I'm waking myself up. I'm waking y'all up too. A lot of people out there in this world, they sleeping. They knocked out right now. They knocked out. They have no clue what's going on out here. They living in a fantasy world. Open your third eye. Be conscious. And you'll know when your third eye is open, when you start, um, when you start, praying for certain things and it's definitely happening, it's definitely coming true, you know, when you start probably even reading certain books that you never thought you would read, it's always a message in there for you to obtain, you understand, you're going to start having conversations with people and you're going to be like, all right, you're going to think to yourself, you know what, God, I see why I needed to have that conversation, thank you so much, I appreciate it, you know, and you're going to appreciate life. 110% the good the bad and different everything because it's life you're going to start seeing triple numbers 111 you might even see 666 a couple times and when you see these numbers guys make sure you read what the angels are saying to you the the message that's being relayed at that point in time because that could that could save your life. It could actually save your life. So guys, I'm telling you, it's time to wake up. Start meditating. You know, understand that life is real and everything that happened to us was supposed to happen, but there's a message behind it that God wants us to get. And if you have people in your life that have passed away, may they rest in peace. But they're sending you messages. They're not, they're not here in a physical form. But they're here with you mentally. They, they're here watching over your back, over your shoulder. They got your back. Even if no one else has your back, they're still going to look out for, for you from above. You got to believe that. That's true. It's a fact. It's a fact of life, baby. It is what it is. And when you're making decisions... 
that you feel might be a little bit difficult, ask that higher power. Ask that angel that's watching over you because there's somebody watching over all of us, whether we know it or not. But the thing is, a lot of people don't pay attention to the signs of things. And that's where they mess up. Because like I told you before, if you're conscious of the signs of things and you're listening beyond what a person is saying, that could be... That could be the difference between life and death. That's how real this is. So you guys need to wake up and understand that this is no joke. But like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. And till next time, let's open up that third eye, guys. It's time. Peace.